As a block of concrete is put under pressure, engineers measure the pressure X at which the first fracture appears and the pressure Y at which the second fracture appears. X and Y have joint PDF, um, 24X times one minus Y. Calculate the average pressure at which the second fracture appears given that the first fracture appears at one over three. So second fracture is Y and average means the expected value or the mean. So we have to find the expected value of Y given X equals one third because X is the first fracture. So in order to get this expected value, we need to find the corresponding uh, conditional PDF. This is a conditional expected value. So we need the corresponding conditional PDF for Y given X equals one third. This is what we need, F of Y given X equals one third. So uh, same thing, Y uh, and X one third means uh, F of uh, one third for X and Y for Y divided by, and uh, this, this uh, marginal density, the given thing comes in the denominator. So FX at one third, the marginal density of X at one third. So F one third Y can be obtained by substituting X equals one third in the F of X, Y. So when you substitute x equals one third here, uh, 24 times one third is eight. You get eight times one minus y divided by fx at one third. Now fx at x is obtained by integrating the y out of the uh, joint PDF. So joint PDF is f of xy. And if you integrate it with respect to y, then you integrate the y out of it and you get fx of x. And we need fx at one third. So you just substitute one third for x. And now, uh, since we're integrating respect to y, we need to know the y bounds. If we were doing it with respect to x, then it's very clear um, that, uh, um, okay, forget about what I just said. Um, so we are doing it with respect to Y and we need the Y bounds. And um, you can draw the region Y equals X is this line. And this will be the portion where X is less than Y. That's what we want. X is less than Y. <clears throat> So uh, the, the Y bounds, as you can see, uh, through a vertical strip will be, you have Y equals X here and Y equals one here because the one is the ultimate upper bound for the Y. So that's why Y goes from X to one, F of one third Y. So, F of one third Y, we already figured out um, is eight times one minus Y. And also uh, X is one third. So you can substitute that one third over here as well, the limit. Eventually you, you had to do it anyways at the end once you integrate it out. So you may as well do it right now. So the integral of this now, uh, a lot of times you would do this integral by just pulling the eight out and say that this is y minus y squared by two. Uh, but if you do that, then uh, since both the limits are non-zero, so you get four terms. In order to avoid that, um, I'm keeping it a bit simpler by just integrating the one minus y as a whole through the power rule. So it'd be one minus y squared by two, and then you'll pick up a negative when you do the u substitution, if you do u equals one minus y, you pick this negative. And um, the advantage of doing it in this way is that when you put the one limit, this whole thing becomes zero. <clears throat> and 
and then uh, zero is the upper limit then after you substitute a one minus and you substitute one third for the lower limit eight over two is a four which, which i pulled out and this ends up being 16 over nine so in uh, that was fx at one third so uh, remember this is the conditional pdf we were looking for f of y given x equals one third uh, equals eight and this was equal to f of uh, one third comma y which is eight times one minus y as we figured out before divided by fx at one third which we just calculated as 16 over nine so this ends up being eight over 16 by nine is 4.5 so the con conditional um, pdf ends up being 4.5 times one minus y. And remember y in the original bounds was between x and one. But since x is one third in this conditional, so we can say it's between one third and one. <laughs> All right, normally it's between x and one, but since this condition is at x equals one third, so it's between one third and one. And the expected value of uh, y given x equals one third is the basic formula. So bas basically you're finding the main variable whose expected value you're finding is y. So that's why you have y against the corresponding uh, PDF. This is the function so we need this pdf and um, yeah, as we figured out y will be between one third and one so this one we calculated above is y times one minus uh, 4.5 y one minus y 4.5 times one minus y so you have y times 4.5 1 minus y is that this part is 4.5 times 1 minus y so i pulled the 4.5 out and now here i need to multiply first uh, so be y minus y square and now i integrate y square by 2 minus y cube by 3 1 third to 1 and when i substitute the limits i end up getting 5 over 9 and that was choice B.